Well, the AJHL offseason is for teams to improve, and the Lloydminster Bobcats did just that. They recently hired new assistant coach Carter Duffin to the coaching staff. Joining me today to break this down is Nigel Dubay. Now, Nigel, just starting things off, tell us a little bit about Carter as a coach. Well, it, it goes back to, uh, you know, I met Carter along the way uh, at a hockey rink, uh, you know, back in um, when the U18s were in Edmonton. Uh, we had a conversation there and, um, you know, following his path and, and uh, obviously he had a, a desire and a passion for hockey. Just in our conversation, you could tell that he, he was uh, very knowledgeable um, and uh, obviously always wanted to learn about the game and, and put himself in those positions to go to. So um, those are big things. And, and I think when it comes to coaching, um, you know, calm, cool and, and uh, a player uh, coach that players are going to be able to relate to, um, you know, and have those trustworthy conversations as well as uh, he'll be able to pass on his knowledge uh, to him uh, on the ice and off the ice as well. Now, Nigel, the team was looking for a new assistant coach for a number of months here. I guess just what did Carter do that set him apart from the rest of the pack? Yeah, we, we had coaches from, from all over, really. Uh, it was amazing to see the, the different, um, you know, resumes that, that had came in and, and from local to um, everywhere, um, you know, to look at those. And I think uh, when you take Carter's resume uh, of, of what he's done and where he's been um, going from Manitoba to Esteban, a uh, big part of, of their run there um, to the SJ final and then having that experience um, and then being uh, the head coach and GM and in, in uh, Castlegar for, for three years and, um, he had actually just signed his extension there, but uh, in reaching out to him, um, you know, just wanted to see what that was. And, and uh, I think, uh, again, it comes back to uh, a lot about his, his trustworthiness, um, his passion for it and, and his ability to communicate, um, you know, with, with staff and um, digging into more with references. I think that was a big part of it. Um, so uh, we got a full package with him and, and I think there's, there's growth in that too as well. And then we're excited to have him here in the border city. And Nigel, obviously, you brought up the Estevan Bruins. They made it to the SJHL final uh, a number of years ago there, 2017-18 season. But as well, the year before that, uh, when he was an assistant coach in the MJHL, his team also made it to the playoffs that season. Now, having a coach already have that playoff uh, experience at the junior A level, just how big is that hiring him? Well, those are big experiences. And I think, you know, you look at that one and, and you look at Esteban, the year that they went through a lot of adversity with that, what happened um, that calendar year and, and in that league, um, you know, and those are big parts that uh, teach you a lot. They, they teach you a lot as a coach. They teach you a lot as a player. Uh, they teach you a lot as, as on the managerial side of things too, as well. So uh, those are experiences that we're, we're excited to have in our organization. Um, I think those are conversations that will help along the way when we have discussions of, of uh, you know, what work there. And as we continue to climb the ladder here in Lloyd Minster, you, you look at, uh, you know, the foundation that we talked about, Evan, which seemed like years and years ago, you know, we're going into that third year with the COVID year in between. And um, we've continued to build on the ice. We continue to build off the ice in the community. Um, and he's another pillar that's, uh, you know, more than welcome in our organization and, and going to continue with our growth here. And finally, Nigel, what will people be seeing behind the bench? What kind of coach is he? I guess, you know, is he a defensive-minded, offensive-minded, X and O's kind of guy? Where does his expertise lie? Attention to detail is a big part um, in, in our conversations and, and what he, you know, sent over as part of uh, what would be a systematic resume um, of what he was able to do there and, and as well as his video work. Um, those are big things. And, and with technology now being such a big part of our game and, and being able to compare uh, clips from the NHL, the World Juniors, um, you know, the Olympics, whatever it may be to our players and, and show it at that level and then take that and break it down um, with the new software that's came out in the last year. It's, it's amazing. And, and for us to be able to send that to our players uh, is huge. And uh, I think that's a big part of it. Um, and, and just the attention detail. I think uh, that's a big part. We like to be organized here. Um, you know, it goes a long way with success. Um, and he has that and, and uh, you know, that'll definitely add to it. Well, Nigel, thank you very much for taking this time and joining me. I look forward to seeing yourself and Carter Duffin behind the bench this upcoming fall.